greeting james a servant of god and of the lord jesus christ to the 12 tribes and the dispersion greetings testing of your faith count it all joy my brothers when you meet trials of various kinds for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness and let the steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete lacking in nothing if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask god who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given him but let him ask in faith with no doubting for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind for that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the lord he is a double-minded man unstable in all his ways let the lowly brother boast in his exhaustion and the rich in his humiliation because like a flower of the grass he will pass away for the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the grass its flowers falls and its beauty perishes so also with the rich man fade away in the midst of his pursuits. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life. Which God has promised to those who love him. Let no one say he is tempted. I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. And he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin. And sin, it is fully grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived by beloved brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Hearing and doing the word, know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. <clears throat> Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness and receive the meekness and implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in the mirror where he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets that he was like but the one who looks into the mirror uh, but the one who looks into the perfect law of liberty and preserves being no hearer who forgets but a doer who acts he will be blessed in his doing if anyone thinks he is religious and does not brittle his tongue and deceives his heart this person's religion is worthless religion that is pure and undefiled before the god before god the father i'm sorry is this to visit orphans and widows in their affliction to keep oneself unstained from the world.